Well, thanks to a neighbor, uh, I was able to uh, get the bed off. So it's now uh, off the frame. And as you can see, there's still a long way to go. So everything is rusted and crunchy. And well, I think there's some leakage. Uh, okay, well, this fuel tank is uh, rather rusty. So hopefully I can save it. Uh, because if I have to order a new one from the States, the uh, transportation cost is uh, pretty extreme. Uh, I think all in all it will be about 330 euros, um, which is a lot for uh, just a piece of metal. But yeah, of course it has some weight to it and the dimension isn't working uh, in its flavor or favor. Not flavor, favor. Um, but before I can do that, uh, let me first tackle getting um, this thing out. Uh, because I have a sneaking suspicion that the fuel pump isn't that well anymore. Um, so I got a replacement fuel pump. Um, so apparently I have to rotate this off. And actually, I will get you guys a little bit closer. Um, because as you can see the fuel lines are really crusty uh, and so are the flex lines so I will be replacing at least these three also which is um, withstanding the uh, ethanol fuel the E10 the new stuff um, and probably but I have to assess that once the uh, fuel tank is uh, is out of the frame uh, to see the state of, of the fuel lines so maybe I have to cut them down a little bit and then replace them with uh, with something new um, so yeah let's dive in get this uh, line off let's see if this works I sprayed it with a little bit of uh, let loose juice aka WD-40 smells like fuel which is I think good all right everything is now disconnected Cables are loose, tubes are loose. Let's see what's lurking inside. Ooh, there's still fuel in it. Didn't expect that. And let's see. Don't drop strainer. Yeah. Still a lot of fuel. How should this? There we go. Get this one off. Okay, so I had to cut a strap, which in hindsight I didn't have to do. Fuck. So I cut this one because, let me grab some light. That bolt thing down there wouldn't move at all. But I was actually going to show you something, which is the manual which I should have read first of course 
and there it says that you have to remove this support bracket because the tank is now loose but I cannot move it out because it's resting on this thing so let me show you now that looks like that's that bugger over here that's the bolt actually the nut that didn't want to come off um, but I have to remove this entire thing that means I have to loosen these four bolts so this one that one that one and that one is already out uh, of course they have been there for 30 years uh, and they're pretty rotten but hey it works um, so now going to loosen these that will drop that support bracket and then hopefully I can uh, move the tank out holy crap that felt like giving birth I think but the tank is out the bracket is off that was a bitch uh, that strap is still on like it should be and then uh, we got the tank out so this is the really rusty and crusty frame as it stands now so with my uh, wire brush I don't know where it is actually somewhere around here I already did some uh, oh, here it is this one I did some uh, rough like that um, but that doesn't cut it enough so I have these really coarse wire wheels that I will attach to my angle grinder and then uh, attack the frame once all the surface rust is off and all the loose stuff uh, I will be coating it with uh, Ovatrol uh, so this is a penetrating oil um, that will neutralize the uh, the rust and give it a permanent coating Say what? Probably you can see the difference between done, not done. So I'm far from done. I'm not gonna reuse that. It's all dried and rotten and whatnot. And I will be uh, replacing the uh, that stuff with uh, an inner tube of a bicycle tire. I read that tip somewhere, and um, it seems to be pretty good. So it's about uh, an hour later, um, covered quite some ground, so this part I still need to do. This all cleaned up pretty pretty well, so I'm, uh, I'm quite happy with that. So about an hour in now, so this cleaned up pretty well. My uh, grinder thing is getting smaller and smaller, but that was to expect it. Um, well, as you can see, maybe down there, there's a lot of junk. So the whole garage is now dusty as fuck. Um, so yeah, a lot of cleaning up to do. Um, as you can see, that part still needs to be done. This part is all pretty much done. At least the upper part of the frame is done. The inner part still needs to be done. That cross member is pretty much uh, finished. Um, so yeah, about halfway in, I would say. Um, so more stuff to come. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey. This is how it currently sits, so majority is all uh, grinded down, so metal is uh, appearing again, so majority of, majority of the rust is gone. Of course these are the very hard to reach areas, um, also inside of the frame is very tough, so my uh, grinder wheel is getting smaller and smaller, but got a new one. 
and actually got two new ones just in case um, so all of this stuff is getting better and better still have to do that a little bit more yeah and the inside of the frame that's really nasty so I don't know yet how to get there or how to do it because with uh, a manual um, hello Vimy hello with a manual uh, wire wheel or uh, wire brush it's uh, impossible to get a disc clean because it requires quite a lot of force to uh, to get this finish well a couple of hours of sending later this is the uh, the result so everything looks pretty good of course there are some crevices where it's very difficult to get to so I blowed everything down with uh, compressed air uh, also clean this up as much as possible at least the upper part I will do the lower part later uh, also inside of the frame is done as much as I can do uh, there are some parts I just simply cannot get to so that's quite annoying but I will just cover everything in uh, Oatrol nonetheless so that wraps it up for uh, for this episode um, as always thank you very much for uh, for watching leave a like if you want to click on subscribe if you like to and see you on the next one bye